All right, hello, this is John Tech Clock, and I'm going to show you how to make your Camtasia screen recording widescreen and um, also in high definition. Uh, as you guys know, um, YouTube has switched from just modern, from um, past uh, video experience to a more high definition modern feel. And um, most of the popular videos on YouTube have the watch in HD option. Now, this is this. Is, I'm not saying that if you have that option, you're going to be popular, but it's a lot better to watch. It's a lot clearer. You'll see things better, and it's great for tutorial purposes. So your viewers actually know what you're doing. Right now, you see that this video is in watch has a watch in HD option, and I'm gonna and uh, what I'm gonna do and uh, say um, just right about uh, in like three minutes. We'll show you how you can get the watch in HD option. Um, first, what we're gonna do now is go to Camtasia Recorder, and we're gonna keep the size setting at 640 by 360. And um, if you guys are math brainiacs, you're gonna know that 1,280 by 720. If you split both of those in half, you're gonna get 640 by 360, and that's what we want to keep it as. Rate eight frames. Don't go over that. Don't go below that. Stay at eight frames. And that's about it for the recorder. Now open up Camtasia Studio, and we're gonna go to Batch Production, and then you're gonna click Add Files. Uh, for right now, I'm gonna just click some, you know, get some random video. One of the test videos that I really have. So that. All right. So I'm gonna click Next. And now what we're going to do is go to Preset Manager, and then we're going to click New, and then we're going to call this HD, and select File Format MOV, a quick time movie, and then we're going to click Next. Simple so far, it gets the job done. Now we're going to go to Quick Time Options, and then go to Settings. We're going to keep the compression type as H2.64. We're going to keep the frame rate at 50. We're going to keep the keyframes at automatic. Switch the compressor quality to best. And also the encoding quality to best quality multipass. Uh, basically, that's it. Don't touch the data rate. That'll be fine. Click OK. Now we're going to go to size and we're going to keep it as the current dimensions which should be yes you got it 640 by 360 so keep it just like that now we're going to go to settings under the sound option make sure it's on MPEG-4 audio and we're going to go down and click 48 kilohertz that's very important so you have a great sound and we're going to put 16-bit stereo click OK as you can see it says two channels meaning that not only is it going to show the sound going to come towards the, the left and the right it's going to come twice as much to a more powerful sound experience now prepare for internet streaming fast start yes and click OK and we're going to click next now the custom size we want it to be 1280 by 720 that's about it and keep the background color as whatever you want doesn't really matter then we're going to click next video options whatever you prefer this doesn't change this can be to your own likings your own preferences so then we click finish and now we get this we're going to click close and so you're going to get use one production preset for all files and projects and this is what it's going to be HD or whatever you named it we're going to click next then we're going to say where we want to save the file. Then we're going to click finish. And you'll see right here it's rendering and it's going to convert. So thanks for watching. And um, please hit the yellow button that says subscribe so I can continue to make more entertaining and useful tutorial videos about computers and tweaking and hacking and whatnot. Uh, thanks for watching. And um, please rate and my video so I know what people are saying and what they think about the video. And um, yeah, that's about it. So uh, thanks for watching and please subscribe.